Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to do a yarn review on a couple different yarns from the company called Hobie. H-O-B-B-I-I. -I. Now they're based in Denmark. And I know they ship to multiple countries. You would just have to look on their site and um, see if, if your country is there um, available to ship to. Now first off, um, Hobie did not give me this yarn. I purchased this yarn myself. I am not affiliated with their company at all. These are my own personal opinions. They don't even know that I'm doing this review. So I was going to review a couple of their yarns that I purchased. And I just want to show them to you real quick. Um, I have their Cotton Kings and their Twister. And this is what they look like. They have a little sticker here so you can center pull, which is awesome. Now we'll go over um, the Cotton Kings first. Now this one is a 100% cotton yarn. It is 250 grams or 8.8 .8 ounces. And there are 1,093 yards per cake. Um, and you can, it says it's, it is machine washable, but you don't want to put it in the dryer. Of course, you know, being cotton, it could shrink. It's best just to lay it flat. Twirls Deluxe, 100% cotton. Now, I, I was, <laughs> there were some people posting this yarn on my Facebook page. And I thought, I'm going to look at it. And I saw this one. And I am such a brown lover. I thought this was the prettiest yarn. This is just my opinion. I have ever seen in my entire life. The way it's like the color. I don't know if my camera shows it that well. But it's like the color of old amber glass. And then it fades off into a dark brown. It is so gorgeous. The colors are gorgeous. I love it. It is cotton and it is a very soft it's a soft cotton. It's a nice soft cotton. Now the weight of these yarns. Um, it doesn't really tell that I could see on the website. But I'm going to guess uh, by looking at it. That it's approximately a two weight yarn. You know. Is that what you guys think? I'm going to say it's a two weight. It might be pushing a really really thin three. But I still think it's. Between a two and a three, probably. But that's the the weight that I would say it is. If you guys agree with me, you can always tell me what you think it is in the comments. Um, but you can tell they have sort of an ombre, the way they uh, gradually go off into colors. Now, this is a yarn <laughs> that um, you wouldn't want to buy and m make something... And try to sell it unless you're charging a premium because this yarn is not really that cheap. This would be um, a yarn for a very special occasion, for a very special project, for a very special person. Maybe yourself. Um, now these Cotton King cakes, they come in all beautiful colors, swirl colors like this. Um... I think there's about 18 of them of the Cotton King colors. They're all very pretty. You know, there's really none that I do, that I don't like. Um, they actually run $27 a cake. I know, I know. Whoa, wowzers, right? They are all. I bought this on sale, and they are currently on sale right now for $23.50. Still, I know. <laughs> whoa, that's the most I have ever spent on a cake of yarn. In my entire life. But I just thought it was so pretty. And I, I couldn't quit thinking about it. It's very pretty. It's very soft. Now like I said. I wouldn't. If I uh, sold my projects to make a living. This is not something I would buy. And make something out of it. And try to resell it. Unless I charged a premium. Like a good. Like say I made a shawl out of this. 
unless I charged enough money to make a profit and get, you know, my money back for my yarn. It being a thinner yarn, it's going to take you a little while too. So, but I don't know. I don't really know what people charge when they make shawls, but I think it would be something you'd want for somebody special, you know, or, you know, like yourself. You want to make yourself something really nice. This would be a nice yarn to do it with. It's very pretty. And I know there are other companies that sell yarns like this. I have not experienced their yarns. Only the Ho only this Hobie brand so far. I'll probably eventually get the other brands. But right now, this is the review. This is the only company of these type of yarns that I've seen, that I'm that I'm uh, worked with. But I uh, got them and people asked me to do a review. So I'm just doing a review. This one is, it's very nice. And I really like it. Will I buy more? I will buy more if the price of the of the 100% cotton if the price is cheaper. Right now at 23.50, it's a little high. I just had to get this one color. I I mean I couldn't resist it, and I was thinking about it, and I just couldn't get it out of my head. So I bought it. What I'm gonna make with it is still a mystery. But whatever I make with it, it's gonna be mine, and I'm gonna keep it. Okay, the next one I, I got is their twister. Now it is a 55 cotton 45 acrylic blend very very pretty colors also let me pull them up real quick now there are a lot more colors of these i believe uh i think there's over 30 co different colors of these <laughs> all of them again very very pretty now, this being a cotton acrylic blend, it does have a little bit cheaper of a price tag. Now, there are the same amount of yardage, um, 1,094 yards. Um, it is appears to be about the same, the same weight as the other one, I would think, that it's a two or maybe a really thin three. Like I said, let me know in the comments what you guys think that weight is right there. Because I really can't find it on a website unless I'm just missing it. Um, but it appears to be a two or a thin three, but yeah, I'd like to hear your thoughts on what you think that is. But anyways, they both appear to be about the same thickness. Very pretty colors. All of them are gorgeous. There was none I did not like. And, um, yeah, this being a, uh, cotton acrylic blend, the price is a little cheaper on these and it's still, um, they run well it says regular price is $29 but I don't think that that is what they are very often because every time I've looked I've seen them for $15 and that's what they are now that's what they are every time I've ever seen them so I'm just going to assume that most of the time they're $15 it's a little pricey it's not bad though considering it's over a thousand yards it's really soft too. It's softer. It's softer than the cotton. The cotton's soft, but this one's softer because it has that acrylic in it. But both are soft. And again, this is something. Um, you could probably get this at fifteen dollars, make a really beautiful shell out of it, and you could probably sell it. You could sell it at a higher price because of the yarn being so. <laughs> it's a pretty nice. You can tell that it's a quality yarn. Now, I am not going to crochet with it on camera. Looking at it, um, I think it could possibly split a bit, if you can see that. But I don't think it's going to be bothersome. It just looks like that in some spots. I could be wrong. It may not split at all. That could just be that in there coming apart. Because the more I pull out, the more it looks like it's wound pretty good. But if it did, it would just be... I think it would just be minor. I don't think it would be anything that you couldn't control. Especially how the beauty in these things. <laughs> Sometimes you, I don't know, it, me, I get a yarn that's really so pretty that there's really no, nothing. Um, I don't care how bad it splits. I'm still going to, I'm going to like it. But I know either one of these, they're, they're probably going to crochet well. I mean, I can't say for certain. But by looking at it, I don't think there's really going to be much trouble to them. And I definitely know they're going to pull They're going to pull out easy if you make a mistake. Because they're cotton and acrylic. You know, there's really no wool to hang up on. 
so we don't really have to worry about that. Like I said, there's only 30 colors of these, and these run about $15 a cake, which isn't really, it's, it's, it's pricey, but it's not bad because one cake, you can make a shawl out of it. Definitely being over a thousand yards. And again, this is their twister. Now, will I buy this again? Yes, indeed. I are. <laughs> I did actually buy a few more colors of these. I don't have them yet. I ordered them because once I got these, I'm like, oh, these are so, so pretty. I got to have them. Now, this will probably eventually be a shawl. That one, I don't know. But like I said, it's going to be mine, whatever it is. I might just keep it on my shelf and just look at it for the rest of my life. <laughs> you never know because it's so pretty. I know you guys probably had a yarn that you've uh, thought was just too good to use. Well, that one would be mine. That one right there would be, that one would be mine that I think, I don't know. There's never going to be nothing good enough for it to use. Oh, there it says it right there. It says it's a number two. Okay. I didn't see that. I don't think the cotton one said that. No, it doesn't. Okay. So it does say it's a number two, which I would be in a grant with a number two or a really thin three. Anyways, they do classify it as a two. Now this uh, uh, acrylic cotton blend twister, <clears throat> it is uh, machine washable. I would probably recommend laying it flat to dry. Um, it yeah, it says so lay it flat to dry on the website also. That would just be my recommendations. Um, now I'll put a link below to Hobie's website right there. H-O-B-B-I-I. -I. And I think I said they are uh, based in uh, Denmark. Now, I ordered these two. Now, this is the first time I ever ordered them. On December 28th. And they arrived to me on uh, January 9th. Shipping isn't super fast. Um, it is cheap. The shipping is only $6.95 anywhere. And if you spend over $74, it's free. Which it probably don't take you long to spend over $74 when you're buying expensive cakes like this. But they do have other yarns. But I've never tried any of their other yarns. So I could not give you my um, honest opinion on them. I can only tell you about these two. They're very, very nice. I would not buy any more of these at this price of $23.50. Because that is is steep for me even though it is 100 cotton it does have over a thousand yards it's just too much money for me anyways but the color like it is is the prettiest yarn i've ever seen and i had to have it i couldn't live without it i couldn't live another day without that without that yarn but these being 15 dollars isn't too bad for it being over um a thousand yards um it it is a little pricey still but the beauty of them um if you if you do crochet to sell and you get these for fifteen dollars, you can charge you can charge a premium because of the way the yarn's gonna the way it's gonna look when it's done. If you go to Hobium's website, uh, people have posted pictures of what they made with these yarns, so you can see like each color what it looks like played out into a shawl or a poncho and stuff like that. So that's nice. Um, when we were talking about shipping six fifty anywhere, um, seventy four dollars over it's free now on the website it says it's delivery in three to five days that wasn't the case for me and when i um spoke with other people through facebook it wasn't the case with them either it was always almost a couple weeks to get it and some people even longer so you can expect a little bit slower shipping from them but it's beautiful yarn um i, I can't really say anything bad about it like i said i did buy a couple more of these um to make some pretty projects with this one I won't buy unless the price drops dramatically, but I couldn't. I had to have that one. So I just wanted to let you guys know about this because some people were asking on Facebook if I would do a little review. And I don't know if, if anybody's ever heard of this company. Um, so I just wanted to bring it to everybody's attention, if you, if you haven't heard of them. Um, that they have these beautiful cakes. The Twister is the one I think I would recommend... For price versus yardage, this would be the best at $15. But it is an acrylic cotton blend. 
that one being 100% cotton, it is it's outrageously priced, and I still can't believe I bought it for $23.50, but I did. And, yeah, I'll probably never buy it. I'll probably never make anything out of it. I'll probably just look at it forever and squeeze it and fill it and lay it by me at night while I'm sleeping. No, I'm just joking about that, but... But anyways, yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys about this, um, that I do think they're very nice yarns. They're high quality yarns. Um, these are, these are probably worth $15. They are, it is a little steep, I guess, but the quality, the colors are very, very pretty. It's going to make, look at that. That would make a gorgeous shawl. Beautiful. The ombre effects to it, though, the color changing is, it's going to be beautiful, whatever I make out of it. The color alone is going to make it beautiful. And it being a thinner weight, I don't really like that either. But I can get past that whenever the yarn's beautiful. So it, and it being a thinner weight, if you use a little bit bigger of a hook on a thinner weight yarn like this, it's going to have an awesome drape on it. So I might make a nice spring shawl out of this one. We'll see whenever it starts to warm up what this becomes. Anyways, I'll, like I said, I'll put the link below to Hobie. And you can check out their twisters. These are the twisters, the, the acrylic cotton blend. And you can check out these cotton kings, which are pretty, pretty expensive. But I couldn't, I had to get that one. And um, if you do check them out, let me know what you think. Um, did you, do you like all their, tell, you like all the colors they have? I thought all their colors were really, really pretty. I mean, there really wasn't any of the colors that I didn't like. Um, I got a couple more coming in the mail um of course another brown one and stuff because i love brown but yeah just look them up uh let me know what you think you think these are pretty and remember they do have tons of other yarns i can't speak for the other yarns because this is the first time i've ever received anything from their company but so far you know i'm happy with it i don't see any problem crocheting with it i don't think i'm gonna have a problem with it that's i hope you understand me not wanting to open up break open my cakes to crochet with them but i think there there's not going to be any problem with it so that's my review remember it's only my own personal opinions i know yikes on the price of this one i probably shouldn't have done it but this one um being 15 dollars almost 1100 yards you guys you know i don't i don't know you think the beauty and the quality i think the beauty and the quality you know is probably okay for that price um make something really special for yourself with it so uh thanks everybody for listening to me ramble on about how much i love that that, <laughs> that cake of yarn over there and um i like this one a lot too like i said i did order a couple more of these so we'll see what happens when they come here see what they look like and look forward uh to what i make out of this hopefully i'll start start on it soon it's probably going to be a shawl so we'll see um, thanks everybody. Bye-bye.